Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull, and wow, it feels kind of weird to say this, but welcome back to more of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. So we are now in Act 3, and the big change is something rather big in terms of my uh, Sims universe that links all my Sims Let's Plays together, because Alice Radford, originally from my Dragon Valley Rivals LP, is making a return. So last time we saw her, she was uh, banished from Dragon Valley because of her plot to take over the town using baby dragons and hatching like tons and tons of them. But now she is, uh, <laughs> she's an Isla Paradiso stranded on this island and uh, she still has a few of her dragons. Uh, stupid vegetation getting in the way, but um, yeah, she is going to be a part of the Island Paradise Let's Play now after a few months. So yeah, some time has passed. Isla Paradiso has also developed a little bit more itself. So um, yeah, let's go over to the uh, Pirate's Household because yeah, Alice is uh, about to be initiated into the crew here. So um, let's have our leader Randy go over. And, um, introduce himself. Uh, let's see. Should it be our first interaction. <laughs> uh, yeah, since so she's part of the active household, they technically know each other already, but we're just going to pretend that they don't yet. That they're just meeting now. I thought this would be kind of a cool thing to include on camera. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pirate ship actually. It's uh it's a houseboat technically, but it's made to look like a pirate ship and it is made by Ehout58. So I'll leave a link to that slot in the description below. Okay, here comes Randy. I'll introduce you to the rest of the crew in a minute for those who are watching my Island Paradise Let's Play for the first time because yeah, this is one of the first LPs I ever did and my audience has grown exponentially since then. So um yeah, definitely would be best to introduce you to these guys, and then also the uh, Moonlight household, which is the other household I play as in this Let's Play. This is her dragon, Purply. <laughs> wow, I'm so creative when it comes to names. He's talking about music. They're just getting to know each other. Start with... Okay. Yeah, so Strawberry is actually Randy's sister, and she's the second in command on our pirate ship. <laughs> the dragon looks kind of awkward there. Well, okay, now it's moving around, but it was like completely still a second ago. Okay, I think they've talked enough. Let's have them go back to the pirate ship and let's have her become part of the crew. <laughs> oh, they have chemistry. <laughs> that could cause some interesting tension because uh, Randy is um, in a relationship with somebody already on the ship. So let's uh, them both go here. All right, so I'll introduce you to the rest of the pirate crew. Um, I guess since they're on camera right now, I'll just show you these two at first. So, um, uh, the girl here is Minal, and she's a genie, and she is Randy's girlfriend. She doesn't have uh, any, uh, she doesn't have any jobs, but, um, she does sort of have one because she uses her powers to keep the ship clean and summon perfect food for everyone, so, yeah, you can see her traits right there on screen. And, um... There's a plant sim here, Talbot, and so there's his traits you can see, and um, oh yeah, I still have to uh, remind myself whether he had a career or not, because when I reloaded this save, all their sims lost their job, although actually I forgot to mention that Randy, he's the captain of the, the ship, and he actually owns the Spanish resort in Isla Paradiso, which we already managed to get to five stars, so thankfully he still owns that resort. But, um, yeah, everyone lost their job, so I put Strawberry back in the criminal career because I remember that for sure. Um, and then there's uh, Jonah. He's, um, 
Oh, there he is. So, um, he's kind of like the tinkerer of the ship. He has uh, a lot of skill with mechanical and inventing. Uh, oh, there's the social rush thing. Guess I can just uh, get rid of this real quick. Uh, uh, oh, she must have changed into a swimwear. Uh, when they were getting on uh, Randy's little sailboat. <laughs> Be the life of the party. Yeah, why not? Alright, so who else did I not introduce you to? Um, well, Strawberry, it looks like she's sleeping right now. Um, that's weird. It said that the carpool was coming in an hour, but it says she has the day off? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Actually, I'll just have her quickly get up. So, um, there are no parties going right now, so there's nothing to improve. Oh, right. Oh, silly me. So, um, well, there she is in her sleepwear, but I'm going to show you her everyday outfit because she actually wears a pirate outfit since she's second in command here. Oh, and here's her traits if you didn't see them already. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the crew. Um, oh, what was that? Okay, that was strange. Um, oh, this is odd. I think oh, <laughs> the dragon stuck to her shoulder. Okay, this is weird. Um, I can't seem to put the dragon back. Um, hold on, maybe if I reset her. Uh, just goes to show how broken this game is. <laughs> reset. Um, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Dragon's in her inventory again, so, um, yeah, I think she has one of each kind of dragon now in her inventory. Like, she has, there's her black armor dragon, Blacky. <laughs> And then there's purpley and a red dragon that's unnamed for some reason and green field. So, yeah, I haven't played with the dragons in a long time, but they're so awesome. It's just I don't get to use them often because they don't really fit in with the other towns. They mainly fit in with Dragon Valley. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, there's the little glitch where the household funds weren't showing with her. Um... I think everybody is going to sleep, or at least going to sleep soon. Uh, she's asleep. Oh, okay, she's already asleep. Otherwise, I would have already had her make the house spotless and sparkly so these drinks wouldn't go away. Because, yeah, that's been a problem in the past where the pirates just kept drinking and drinking from these nectar racks. <laughs> I guess it's realistic, but it's still, it got kind of annoying. So it was a good thing I thought of having a genie in our household here. Because uh, it'd be even more annoying. <laughs> um, is yeah, I think everyone is already asleep. Otherwise, I oh, okay, Jonah is still awake, and looks like Strawberry is too. Yeah, they're all, maybe you can talk to them a little bit before going to bed, and then I'll probably uh, I'll probably just cut out while they're sleeping, and then go to the morning and then you guys will see that but you can socialize a little bit first get to know our new crew a little bit better at least from Alice's perspective it's not too new to us unless it's the first video you're watching of this let's play wow I guess he's really stinky uh, well let's introduce ourselves this is strawberry then uh, friendly let's brag about her broom riding <laughs> Because, yeah, Alice is a witch, in case you didn't know already. Oh, she actually liked it. I expected her to not like that. Oh, okay, they're attracted to each other, too. <laughs> How very strange. Uh, let's see what Consider Attractiveness brings up. I, th I believe that's from the Woohooer mod, that interaction. And, um... Play rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I got the same message again. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, she's blindingly stunning. 10 out of 10. Wow. 
Let's see who wins. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they added that uh, scary interaction. Since this interaction came with Supernatural, because otherwise it's like the same interaction from The Sims 2, but they added that cool little thing. Um, I didn't pay attention to who won, to be honest. <laughs> I think Strawberry may have won. Oh, she has the mark of the purple dragon. Um, yeah, I think I will cut out here, and then we'll pick up in the morning. Oh, look, there's Purpley sleeping <laughs> on the deck there. All right, we're back. So um, I wanted to make sure you guys saw this awesome sunrise here because I forgot to mention that I am now using the Cloud9 lighting mod by Burnt Waffles. I'll leave a download link to that in the description below. I'll most likely use this for the rest of the Let's Play because I remember I was getting tired of the Fresh Cut Day lighting mod before because I was using it so much for uh, quite a long time. But, uh, yeah, some of the crew's getting up. Manal, I made her make some country bread for everybody. Or, she didn't really make it, she just summoned it out of thin air. Uh, La Costa Vida made 3,694 simoleons. Alright, that's fantastic. Actually, maybe I should show you what that looks like in a little bit. Um, oh, Randy and uh, Alice are talking. I think, you know what, we might stir up a little bit of a relationship between them because I mean they're pirates they're not like the goody two-shoes exactly of the seas so oh wait a minute I didn't mean to click on the kiss <laughs> what 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 was I thinking gosh I need to pay more attention <laughs> um uh oh oops now she's now me now is in the room um uh oh she's upset <laughs> not feeling good about this. So much that she's gonna vomit? No, it was probably the nectar. <laughs> she was probably g getting close to a faithful reputation with him too. Oh, now, now she's just gonna flirt with him? Or she's gonna, yeah, but now he's not having it. Wow. <laughs> this is not good. Um, can I apologize? Um, doesn't doesn't really look like it. Um, you give a gift. I'll give you a give you a camera. Uh, oh, good. At least she accepted that. Well, a lovely gift, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Romantic. Uh, do flirt. Oh, well, I guess that made amends. Hopefully. <laughs> I didn't, I not, I did not mean it to- Holy crud, Jonah, what are you doing? What? Why are they- why are they having a feud? Oh, what? <laughs> Manal's faithful around you. She has a faithful reputation. Wow, that still happened. Goodness gracious, that's kind of hilarious. Wow, okay, so why is Alice already making enemies? Is Jonah envious of her witch powers? I don't know. Let's just, um... Let's cast a good luck charm and move on. Uh, I did place the gypsy wagon in a... Uh, Community lot, I'll show you in a second. Uh, let's have Randy and Manal woohoo. <laughs> it's like flirting with <laughs> Alice one minute and then woohooing with uh, Manal the next. Very shady, but that's what being a pirate is all about, I guess. Um, yeah, let's have her change into her everyday wear. Actually, the next time uh, we come back to the pirates, she'll have a different outfit so that it's not like she's still wearing those raggedy textured clothes as she was when she was found on the island. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll make her go to the gypsy caravan and then I'll show you the Spanish resort and what I did with it. 
Um, do, 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 where is it? It was over here. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just like there isn't really any other job that's really suitable for her, so why not? Let's, um, oh, I can become a partner too. You know what? For the heck of it, let's do that too. And we'll join the fortune teller career. Because, yeah, it's only a thousand simoleons, and they have so much money because of how I was switching between that two households, and they kept getting free cars, so they got free money off of that. Because I do remember that's what happened in the last part, because I called it unfairly rich, and I remember it was happened because of that. I don't know, here it is, I think you're hot. Wow. Everyone's into Alice. Well, at least, except for Jonah, but otherwise, she's being pretty well welcomed <laughs> into, um, into her new crew. Their new family, I guess you could say. So, um, hopefully this doesn't take too long to load. Oh wow, it's actually working out okay. Um, uh, okay, let's see here. Where should I start? Well, I guess we could just start with the pool over here. Um, I think, yeah, I added this, um, uh, this concession stand over here. Or the food stand, whatever. Other than that, I think it's about the same. I might have added the pool bar because I think I remember recoloring that. Oh, and then there's this hot tub that came with, um, it was the spa venue that you could get with uh, Sunlit Tides, the gold version, or separately. And then there's this little firewalk pit over here. Then uh, I do remember adding the wedding area over here using the... Uh, Romanza set from the Sims 3 store. See, look at that view. Isn't that a great view to be married in? I mean, who wouldn't want that? And then there's the statue right there. And then I'll go back over to the building itself. There's, uh, yeah, there's some things I changed, I remember. Um, duh, duh, duh. Okay, so... Here are some buffet tables. I think I added some more so that there were more food types available. And then I added the industrial oven from the business as usual bistro venue from the Sims 3 store. And you can see there's a chef doing his thing. Oh, his name is also Randy. What a coincidence. <laughs> and, um, do, 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 do. let's see, I changed something with at least one of the hotel rooms, I think. Oh, yes, that's right. Somebody gifted me the, um, one of the uh, Spanish sets from the Sims 3 store. I think it was called Hacienda Luxury. So I put the bed and the candles and maybe one or two other things in here. Yeah, that's right. I changed the door, I think. And let's see if there was anything else. There's probably maybe something on the first floor. Um. Oh, there's a fish tank over here. <laughs> see if there's anything in it. Yeah, there's something fishing around in here. It's waiting a donation of any fish. Oh, there's uh, salmon, I think. Oh, there's an eel. <laughs> That's cool. I love the eels that they added because, yeah, that is part of the Sims 3 Island Paradise expansion, if you didn't know that. The fish tank, I got it from, I think, the Atomic Age store set. So, yeah, I have a lot of store account. It is a lot of store content, like almost all of it. Congratulations, she's now a partner of Gypsy Wagon. He has his share of the profits. You pick up weekly. I keep forgetting you can even do that. <laughs> become a partner of places. Uh, yes. And we'll have her start out fresh since he's in a new location, so. Yeah. Um. Oh, good. Strawberry built up her athletic skill because. Uh, yeah, I wanted her to do that because she badly needs it for her uh, criminal career. She starts at nine hours. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the uh, resort and what I've changed anyways. So, yeah, it's kind of cool because, yeah, I mean, in my Let's Play at the beginning and uh, pretty much everyone else's, it was just like, oh, yeah, we have to get the free resort because that's our only choice. But since I have two households in this Let's Play now, I was like, okay, this is a chance to show off another resort in more detail and actually run it. So, um, yeah. It definitely adds some uh, some variety, and she has an allergy haze. Oh no, the pollen count is too high. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, so 
yeah, overnight I made Talbot a uh, self-employed uh, angler. So it's level two. And, oh, good. <laughs> Speaking of twos, Strawberry is now at athletic skill level two. And I made Jonah a self-employed inventor. And I actually placed the workbench over on the little island where... Um, where Alice was living because, yeah, there's no room on the ship. There's no space for a dragon to fly here. Dang it. Um, wait, what? what is this? Witness betrayal. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> it still has a faithful reputation, though. Oh, <laughs> Randy's playing the guitar. I forgot he had one. This is watching it. <laughs> there's Strawberry. She's like, Arr! I must do this. Oh, she fell down. And there's Talbot and Jonah watching her, and Manal as well. Um, let's see, what can we have Alice do? So, hmm. I think one of them had a want to visit the Spring Festival. It might have been Talbot. Yes, it was Talbot. There's not really any point in completing this any seashell opportunity because we're going to switch. Back to the Moonlight household in the next one anyways, and then they'll get rid of the opportunity, which sucks, but that's just how the game works. So maybe I'll have him go over to the festival lot. Let me complete that. What? No, we're not going to swim in the fountain. <laughs> that's a bit crazy. Um, let's see. Is there anybody here at the park that she can... Uh, that she can torment? Doesn't look like it. Oh, she's playing with her, her dragon green field. Oh, we can summon treasure. I forgot we can do that with the green dragon. Let's, let's do that. So yeah, I do have an idea of what we can do after, after this. Ooh, wow. I think that's a rainbow gem right there. Yeah, it's awesome getting to use these dragons because I really do like them, but it's just that they don't fit in with uh, modern everyday worlds. Or futuristic ones in the case of my Into the Future Let's Play. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh no, it's a ruby. Okay, it looked really colorful, so I guess not. Oh, <laughs> there's some sims running around now. Um, whoa, where's she going? She is like running, holding her heart. <laughs> this Gen Genevieve Lindy. Let's do something. So I downloaded this Disasters and Blessings mod recently. So I thought maybe you could do something with that. Um, let's see. Let's make her pee herself. <laughs> and um, wait, let's watch her pee herself first. What? Or maybe she won't do that? I don't know. Let's try one other thing. Oh, she's gonna it's an actual interaction? Oh no, they're just high fiving. Okay. You're gonna make me pee, so high five. <laughs> That's really strange. Oh, you don't care about her good looks? Alrighty then. Well I think what we'll do is Whoa, okay, don't throw a water balloon at us. Now you're just getting crazy. Let's, um... Duh, 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 duh. Let's strike surroundings the lightning and meteor. <laughs> oh boy, it begins. I think I'll make a separate video showing this mod off where I can show off more things. Instead of risking ruining my own let's play here. Oh jeez. Did she just... Just got his. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, now she's burnt. <laughs> just have her collect that so that she can make some quick simoleons. There we go. Ah, that's what you get, Geneve, for not liking our good looks. <laughs> All right, so let's sell that. Or actually, we can analyze it, but it'll probably be worth less than what it is. But we can try, though. Oh, wow, it's worth, like, 2,000 more. Okay, that's good. I'm glad we did that now. 
What should you do now? He has to water balloon fight. <laughs> After that, you're just like, oh, let's have another water balloon fight. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, okay, I think, I think we're going to end this part of, let's play, I, ugh, why am I messing up? Darn it. Let's, <laughs> let's wrap up this part of The Sims 3 Island Paradise, and I hope you enjoyed, so... Yeah, it's really interesting coming back to a Let's Play that I started when I was starting out, basically, and how I've improved since then, and being able to do something big with my continuous Sim universe and have some big continuity between some of my Let's Plays. So, yeah, the next part I will show you the Moonlight household, and we'll do some cool stuff with them. So until then, guys, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, favorite this video, or even subscribe because it lets me know that you really like my videos and my channel. So I'll see you in the next video, guys, and have a good day.